Special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond and supporting the channel. They are Sam Medina, Matthew All, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, I Am Beast, Madlow, Yumi, Killer Button 264, Justin Rice, MD640, Petri, Kono76, Ozzy Pozzy, Balalco, Jelly Beams, UK's Reaper, Craven, Zareel, Fierce, Shamsi, Nathan the Autogasms, Unakin, and Amy. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hey everyone, and welcome back to End Z Mod. So I want to show you guys quickly something. I've seen a few comments already addressing the motion blur. As you guys can see, when I move like this, it almost looks like there's motion blur on. But if you look at the settings, video, motion blur is off. If we were to actually have motion blur on... Oh, I'm gonna get sick from this. Look out, th this whole world feels a little spinning. It almost feels like you... Oh, I'm getting sick right now. It almost looks like the world's spinning around you and you're getting get sick. <laughs> so basically, it just is part of the mod. Because in this mod, everything you do is faster. Um, it almost runs like Mega Crush. Uh, movement speed is faster. All of that attributes to the fact that it looks like motion blur is uh, on. But as you guys can see, motion blur is off, and still, it just it is just very fast paced, unfortunately. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, at the moment, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. I'll talk about I'll talk to the mod creator and see if he can perhaps like reduce the speed of it or something. But yeah, unfortunately, that is just how this mod is. Uh, everything is fast. Uh, even with motion blur on or oh, off, I mean, it feels like it's on. Okay, so we are just going to do as many jo uh, jobs as possible. We want to also see if we can't do... Ooh, infested for cash. I know, infested enough for cash for um, ammo. With you, but it would be a okay, we have 900 cash. I want to see if there's anything I can actually buy from him. Ammo... Nope, nope, nope. Resources especially. I want the cobble. And I want the concrete. But the concrete is a little bit too expensive. All I want to right, make sure we constantly we're buy resources from the traders as well, because we'll be able to use it later. Also, as you guys are aware, we had a baker mishap last time. Um, for some reason, the one baker bugged out, and we had to spawn in a new one. We had to spawn in cash, buy a new one, and then get rid of the other one, but it didn't want to disappear. And now that we log back in, there's only two, not three, so that's good. Okay, we are going to do as many quests as possible. I, will not, I want to make a horde base. Let me just see something quickly. Um... Nothing in there, nothing in there. We have to make as many resources as possible right now because we have to start making ward bases. Unfortunately, at the moment, we are a little bit behind on that. Uh, we could make more cobble. I wonder if I shouldn't do that for now. We're going to make as much cobble as possible, just make as many blocks as we can, and then I hope for the best from there. Boom. It almost feels like my mouse is just very sensitive, like the sensitivity is too high or something. Okay, anyways, uh, we are going to repair this, do this, do this, boom, let's go. Now that we have our NPCs over here, we'll be able to get more stuff done faster as well, so that's going to be awesome. The movement speed is so fast, do you, wait, do we still have Mega Crash enabled or something? Nope, just max stamina bonus. Okay, but yeah, um, for a moment there, I actually thought that we might have a Mega Crash still because we're so fast. We don't even need the bicycle. That's how fast we're running right now. We can literally just run to our next objective and then go from there. I don't want to be careful because I know there's going to be a dire wolf in there. I need the meat. Yeah, we need meat and we have to also do the quest and stuff. So let's really try and kill this dire wolf over here. Okay, I accidentally overkilled it so it has way less HP left than it's supposed to have. The only reason I want to get in here is because of the ammo. If we can do as many quests... Come on, move. As we can do... Uh, if we can do as many quests as possible right now, that's really, really going to help us. Um, there's this jail over here as well, but that's going to be way too high a level for us right now. Okay, we don't even need the bicycle. <laughs> How much space does the bicycle actually offer us? Is it worth it? Uh, let's see. Nope. I'm thinking of leaving the bicycle behind. Because look how fast I can move without. Also, it seems a few of you guys have actually also been struggling and killing the anacondas. But yeah, in the version 1.4, that will be removed, so don't worry. The anaconda isn't attacking or moving or anything as it's supposed to. So the mod creator will be removing that as soon as possible. Oh, there's a piggy over here. See, when, when the uh, NPC just pushed me, it almost looked like motion blur. It does feel like everything's running too smooth on the mod. As a mod, it's weird to say something's running too smooth. Okay, I wonder if I should stay with the... Uh, here for now, or move on. 
If I'm not mistaken, there's sometimes a dog over here, so we have to be careful of the dog. Oh, the chicken escaped. Okay, so this is an infested. We have to be careful of all the zombies that might spawn here. Ooh. There's a lot of um, animals just chilling around over here. He's definitely going to come for us right now. Boom. I need as many book as, uh, books as possible because we have to start working on our workstations and stuff. The snake does not count as part of... Yeah, it doesn't. Wait. Did they just shoot it? Or what just happened? All of a sudden, the snake was dead. The moment I heard it hiss, was, uh, it was already dead. The spear is way too OP. Okay, but yeah, guys, uh, like I said, the motion blur, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. Um... Uh, if it's not for you, it's not for you. I won't hold it against you not watching the video. Uh, but yeah, there's no other way to slow it down as far as I'm aware. I actually like the faster movement speed, but like the faster, it almost feels like the mouse is too loose. I'm not going to tweak the settings right now because that's going to mess with my gameplay and other mod. And, and other games and stuff. At the moment, my everything is actually set in just perfectly on my mouse. For all the different mods and stuff I'm playing. Let's see. Okay, at least we're getting three meat as well. I'm just glad anacondas are not inside your eyes. You know how hard it's gonna be to kill an anaconda. Hello, hello, hello. You're not part of this pure eye. I'm trying my best to move as slow as possible because I know the problem. Why are you not awake? I mean, we're getting so much free meat over here. I should have done this. The Unic... Unink family farms. We have to do this one again soon. I know there's going to be a zombie dog over here as well somewhere, so I need to be careful. I think that's where we can enter as well. I think that's actually the exit. Let's just see the front over here and see if I'm right or wrong. Yeah, that's the exit over there. Let's go through this place the way it's intended to go through. As you guys can see, we are so OP. Especially the spear. It feels like the spear has like, had like a massive power up. The very first time I tried Alpha 21 uh, with a streamer weekend, I actually used the spear and it was really good. And then with the next update, they nerfed it. And now it feels like the spear is back to being a really, really good item. That leads outside. So we have to go upstairs now. Let's just close this just in case and do this. I'm trying my best not to move the mouse too fast because that also uh, creates the motion blur effect. But it's really, really difficult with how smooth everything feels in this mod. Come on, Baker, move. It's actually super nice how smooth the, uh, everything moves. Compared to more intensive, more um, just heavy duty mods, this is awesome. Obviously, like I said, the only dying side is the, the effect. Okay, so, uh, those zombies over here. Oh, yes, it's going to be a ton of zombies in the roof, isn't there? I wonder if I can actually get the... There's no ferals up here, right? Nope, no ferals. Nice. Oh, there's a zombie downstairs. Huh? Okay, they'll deal with the zombie for me. I can do the rest of here. Please, I just hope my NPCs can't die. I was about to say, why is it not killing that uh, that zombie? I think it was actually meleeing that zombie just now. Okay, so we should probably read all the books we come across as well. We're mostly only looking for the ones with the workbench ones, the forge ahead ones. We're looking, we're looking for those at the moment. Um, if we can start making more uh, workbenches and stuff like that, that would be awesome. I mean, at least at the moment we do have the workbench. And we do have the forge. But next up we need the uh, concrete mixer and we need like lockpicks and all that stuff too. Although we have been making lockpicks, so next up is what? 
Let's see, mix. Concrete mixer. Workbench is level 30. We are workbench level 20 at the moment, right? 23. So we need seven more, and then we can make ourselves a concrete mixer. Just now as well, all of a sudden I felt like I took a mega crush. Technically, you don't need mega crushes. As long as your food and water is full, you don't need a mega crush at all to run fast in this mod. Wait, where are we in the basement? What was down here? Uh, wait, where is the basement? Over here. There's definitely going to be some uh, zombies left over here, isn't there? I think we were supposed to uh, pass through here too. Yeah, we were supposed to pass through here to go through and... Damn. We skipped all of this. Nice. Okay, so next up is what? Let's go see if we can't do as many quests as possible. The more quests we can do right now, more, uh, the more um, ammo we can get, the more we'll be able to deal with. As you guys can see, it's annoying to hit it. The NPCs aren't even helping us. Oh, wait, what? Wait, and a pandas can drop loot. And look at the amount of meat you can get from it. 150 meat. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> that was really, really cool. Okay, so let's go over here. I wonder how much I still need to explore in this mod, like the new features and stuff. Because I want to see if we shouldn't probably move on to like new mods. And then as soon as the version 1.4 comes out, we'll play this one again or something like that. Um, the thing is, I want to test as many A A21 mods as possible. Because A22 isn't going to take as long as A21 did. A21 was such a massive update. Now that it's out, um, uh, the fun pump said that all the updates now are going to be super, super oh, fast. You think you're pretty smart now, I press gear level 3. Same as mine at the moment. Uh, crafting skill magazine bundle. I wonder if I shouldn't go for the steel. This is supposed to be still here. Yeah, three random crafting books. Okay, we'll go for more jobs. Infested. Let's do this. If word of advice. Next I want to see if I can't do this one quickly. Okay, we'll try and do this one before nighttime and perhaps even accept another one. We're getting to a point where I, I should even be able to face the bosses at night. Well, <laughs> That is just my assumption. Uh, the bosses are still quite tough. If you don't have any anti-rad mods on, then we will not be able to kill them because they're going to heal too fast. I think at the moment we're running faster than the bicycle drive. It's nice, actually, because you, uh, you can actually get to places faster. Okay, now we're completely out of stamina. Thank you. Um. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was about to say, ooh, should I hit it first before they attack it? What's gonna happen? Oh, this farm. This is the one where Billy Bob in um, Rebirth is. We do that. It's infested again. We just run over here and see if there's any zombies in the fields. And then we have to drink and uh, drink and eat and stuff as soon as possible to make sure our food and stuff stays full. One of those empty we're supposed to go through the house, it seems. From only I thought it was a snake underneath my feet. Okay, what? Are you guys gonna come through the front door for me? Oh, you shouldn't. Oh, you shouldn't have. Uh, oh, I almost used fire, but fire spreads. Is this dude even fighting? He's just standing there. I have no idea whether they're actually shooting at the moment. It just looks like they're pointing. It doesn't look like he's actually shooting anything. Whoa, stop pushing me. I might actually get rid of the NPCs, but the problem is the NPCs might help us at night time. At the moment, they're annoying, but later they will be able to help us out a little bit. NPCs, you're not shooting. I might just need to let go of the NPCs because they're not helping at all at the moment. Well, technically, it's almost like they have trust in me. Like, oh, you don't need help. I will let you deal with this. <laughs> but I think it's just because they don't know that they're supposed to attack. Oh, there's a ferals. Ferals, ferals, ferals. Shoot, guys. I don't get why they're not shooting. 
Is there a button I can press to make them shoot? Yeah, they're already following me. Okay, for some reason they're not attacking right now. That's uh, rather disconcerting. I mean, at night time it's going to be cool because they're not going to shoot bosses unnecessarily. But at the moment, it's going to really mess with me later. Okay, where am I supposed to go right now? All locked. That's all locked. It shows we're supposed to go over here. Everything is locked. I don't... Oh, we're supposed to go at the back of here. Ooh, if I'm not mistaken, this place is going to be full of zombies. It isn't infested, so the final room is going to be a lot of zombies. Yep, there's a biker right there. As long as there's no ferals, we'll be able to deal with them easy. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, there's a feral. The NPC is just standing there. Oh, well, I'm, I'm going to let him tank the hits a bit. Allows me to actually figure out what's going on over here. Oh, I'm not wearing my XP glasses. Okay, I'm going to let go of the NPCs. They're literally not helping at all. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that. I'm going to get outside. You guys were kind of helping earlier. But, no thank you. You're pushing me around so it makes the motion, motion blur uh, worse. And you're not even shooting at the zombies. There's no point in having them if they're not really going to help us fight the zombies at all. I'm looking for some ferals over here to come for me. If they run, we'll be able to deal with them at the door. If not, yep, feral. Don't you dare break my leg right now. It feels like I'm not running out of stamina at all. That's kind of cool. Did I just come in a completely different location? Wait, this P.O.I. looks so familiar. Yeah, this is the uh, 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 one that's very similar to one we're doing at the moment. It feels weird, though. Okay, uh, we're supposed to go up the ladder. Up the ladder. The final stash is going to be at the back over there in the honey room. Do this, do this. Yeah, down there. What if I shouldn't keep this over here so I can jump back out? Because you know, this is going to be infested, so there's going to be a ton of zombies down there. As long as I can just point my gun over here. You're going to be behind over there. Biker, stand up. Oh, Paula. I hope I didn't accidentally destroy something just now. Paula lifted me up and I hit something and I don't know what I hit. I might have accidentally just hit something that I was not supposed to hit. Okay, now we can actually turn back the other glasses, make sure we read everything we're supposed to read. The nice thing is the trader is open at night, so we can go do quests. We just have to be careful of all the bosses that spawn. Especially now that we have let go of the NPCs, it's going to be a little bit tougher. But I mean, they're not helping anyway, so what's the point? Oh, I almost forgot about the infested cache. That would have sucked. The infested cache isn't always exactly where the rest of the stuff is, so you have to pay attention. Probably wrench those for parts and stuff. Now we're fine. Okay, and we can go out by either jumping over or going through over here. Okay, and we are gone. I should probably work on my stamina as much as possible at the moment as well. The less we have to worry about our stamina, the better. If I can constantly just run, we don't need a vehicle. Obviously, later when we have a motorcycle, it will be better having one. But for now, there's no point. Oh, we are encumbered. No wonder I'm a little bit slower. Just slightly slower, but still noticeable enough for me to be like, oh no. Uh, let's grab these. Let's grab that. Let's go. 
if you're just slightly encumbered, we already move way slower. Now it's nighttime. Now we're gonna start getting burnt zombies as well. Um, anti rad mod is on that one, but not on this one. So if we fight, oh, you know what? Let's just try and fight this boss. We might be surprised if we see. Oh, uh oh, we're gonna die. We'll run away. See? Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. They turn into these guys. Okay, uh, let's stay clear of the anaconda for now. See, we can. We just keep doing power attacks to the face. And I was doing a few to the body as well, so that means I wasn't actually taking the best approach when it comes to my spear. You don't want to waste your stamina right now, so I will need to make sure my stamina replenishes. I'm going to try this dude. This might be... Yeah, this one's going to be tough. This one's a soldier. We do have the AK because this thing stops the regen. Damn. It's definitely not worth shooting it. Yep, it's definitely not shoot worth shooting at the moment. We have to make sure our spear is fully maxed out. Now I have to be careful because these zombies keep turning into burnt zombies. So it's going to make killing them, especially in groups, way, way, way harder. The big guys are fast, but the, the burnt dudes, I feel, are a little bit faster. Slightly. They're smaller, to hit, they're smaller, so they're harder to hit as well. These bosses are so big, even though they're fast, they're easier to hit. The problem is when it comes to these soldiers. They have so much armor on them, it makes it really hard to down them. Be very, very careful. There might be some zombies inside of here. That barrel just now almost looked like a burnt zombie. Like a, like a fired up boss zombie. Oh, I was like, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so we have to go drop stuff over the base as well. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Slightly better, but still better. I'm going to take that one then. Any more jobs? We'll do another infested. like you. The Shady Swine. Okay, we can actually buy some coffees and stuff over here, but I think first things first, we have to drop all our loot. And then also, we have to make as many cobble blocks as possible. So do this, recipes, cobble block. Boom. 183, not bad. Wait, I could have sworn I had more stashed away somewhere. We might actually have some of here as well that we could use later. Building supplies? No, we only have concrete. Am I complete, uh, completely confusing the games again? I could have sworn we had some cobble blocks over here already. I mean, I did obviously use a few for the base itself. Um, what did I say I'm going to use for the base again? Uh, there's so many options. There's this new base on that side over there. But that building is completely destroyed because I used the Molotov and it burnt way more than I thought it would. I need to decide where I'm going to make this base. It needs to be like an intersection or something. Uh, the horde base could technically be part of this. Now that we know the errors we're getting is actually from like the snakes, the anacondas and stuff. All of this is from anacondas. So technically we could just expand our base over here and then make it so, so the zombies come from over there. Or we can expand the base that way and make the horde base on the outside of the trader. Some zombies are still going to run straight through the trader to try and get to us, but that's fine. Uh, the only thing is, I think instead of using these super, super thin poles, I'm just going to use normal poles. Um, it's just going to be so much easier placing the normal poles uh, over the other, other ones. So we're going to go literally for these ones over here so it's easier to see. The zombies will be able to hit them easier as well, but I mean, we can't afford to worry about stuff like that. I think I'm just going to cut away for the night. I'm literally just going to go and uh, place these things. So, uh, for example... Yeah, it's one, two, three blocks, and then the, the four pillars. So the four pillars are done. Now we do one... Two, three. This is gonna be a pillar. This is gonna be a pillar. This is gonna be a pillar, and this will be a pillar. So I just need you from the bottom now go with the poles. It's easier from the bottom to do this. Uh, from the bottom, I just need to aim upwards and I need to go and place these. I'm hoping that this thing can hold enough weight so I can just stand on a frame from the bottom and do it from the top down. Doing it from the bottom up, you have to jump up and jump up and jump. It just takes way too long. Okay, 
So I have done a pillar over there, pillar over there, and I've done one more over there. I had to take out the gates on this side to be able to do it, and the same on this side. Now the next problem over here is going to be the fact that this is in the way. Um, let's just replace these over here. I want to make sure that the entrance is on that side, away from the base. The thing is as well, I'm going to have to put more pillars in if that's the case. Let me just get this out of the way. I'll show you guys what I mean by that now. Damn, I need way more stamina. Just a few power attacks like that is enough to completely uh, take away all my stamina from me. Also, let me just see. I think in this mod, every level has more. Yeah, four mod slots, three mod slots. So by the time we get to like level six, we have six mod slots. It's actually way better as well. Okay, I'm just going to take this off then. Oh, I need to see if we don't have uh, one more mod that might be able to go on over here. Maybe we can put another one on and can knock zombies down. For example, oh, is it a wandering horde right now? This seems like a nighttime horde. Yep, it's a wandering horde. Come on. Okay, do we have any coffee on us? Because I can't move right now, so this is going to get hectic. They say we don't have a drink or something that can do more melee damage. Well, I think there might actually be candies and stuff we can do. See, we could burn them right now, but the problem is if we burn them, they're going to turn into other monsters, and we can't afford that right now. I'm most likely going to have to kill that boss over there. It's a biker though, so it's going to take way more to take it down. I'm hoping the boss doesn't hear the commotion of here and come closer. Do I have the one book that allows me to get stamina back from killing zombies with the spear? Also, why is the drop rate so bad? Not so bad, so good. It's like insanely good. If you look at the bosses, they almost drop no bags. Then you look at these guys and they drop almost every single time. Oh, I was using the wrong spear as well. And look how easy I was killing them. Let's try the right spear. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I need to go kill those zombies over there. They just spawn in, but they're standing still. This, I still need to remove the roof. It seems I might be able to place a block over here. Yes. Okay, cool. So only the roof is in the way, which is good. I was actually kind of worried that the vending machine... This is actually super lucky. The fact that the vending machine over here, the rental machine, is not in the way of the pillar. That means I don't have to break it or something. And you can't hit it because it's going to shock you. But you can go underneath it and make it cave in. But now during Horde Night, if a zombie goes and smacks that, it's going to actually help us. So it's a really, really good thing. Okay, more or less everything has been put away. Should probably make sure that we are drinking and eating. But our water needs to be full for our stamina to work properly. This we're going to sell. Let's put that over there. And then this one doesn't really do anything for us, but we can put on with everything else, so we do a little bit more damage. Look at that. It's 1.4 more damage so if we have this one on. So it's definitely going to help, especially against bosses. It's a shame we don't have the ergonomic grip, though. That's definitely going to help us way, way, way more. Especially with the spear. If we want to do power attack after power attack after power attack, we need the ergonomic. That boss disappeared on us just now. Let's fire it up. I need to be careful of that. We can extend this floor a little bit more. I still need to put the walls around it. Uh, the workbenches are going to have to move a little bit closer. But that's why I actually made the base so nice and long. Uh, the ward base is going to be over there. Or the platform we're standing on is going to be in the road. I might have to remove this over here. I'm just going to keep on placing these over here and then I hope for the best. Uh, basically, the entrance to this thing is going to be on the outside. So we will have a ladder on the inside as well. But most of it is going to be on the outside. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm going to have to take down the pole underneath. Ah! I don't want to misplace a block. Especially if the block is 1.5k HP. But yeah, let me just quickly finish this. I'm going to make one more platform, make two more poles. Uh, I might even go for a fourth pole as well. I need to make sure that the platform is all the way outside. Technically, I can make the entrance over here, but if the uh, crops and stuff vomit, they're going to hit our loot at the back of here. And since the fire mod is a thing in this mod, we don't want our stuff going up in smoke. Okay, so we are out of blocks. <laughs> I managed to get all the way over here except for this one block over here. And then I still have to put two layers over here all the way down. And then we're going to put the entrance to this side over here. It seems there's still a few zombies left in the Wandering Horde, so let's kill them as well. And then there's going to be a burnt dude walking around over here because he was the boss that died. 
I'm sure there's a zombie over here. Must have been in the trees. I need to ch uh, chop down all the trees over here. Wait, what? This is a campsite. The amount of loot bags we've been getting so far is amazing. If you look at Rebirth with how few loot bags you get, this is just utter madness. Okay, so... I think what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to do that other curly thing again with the base over here. Uh, we could make a straight line, but I'm really worried about the bosses being able to make it over. Um, so we're going to play with their, well, with their height in consideration. My power just gold. My power just went off for a second. And I'm still recording. Wait, what? I must be in a power surge or something just now because the power's still on. But my uh, UPS for a split second kicked in and my screens just went black. Okay, anyways, uh, we still have to go. Ooh, I didn't even realize I didn't do this one yet. So what I need to do is I need to go and put this in over here. Two poles. One pole over there. And then I have to put this whole side in over here. We still have to put walls in around this whole place. And then we have to put the walkway over here. The big thing that we have to remember is the fact that um, everything can burn. The burn mod is in this thing. So we have to be careful not to accidentally burn the whole place down. See, we're going to be able to, I'm going to make like thick, 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 thick walls over here with like uh, bars and stuff that we can shoot through and a door. Just in case the bosses get through, we can quickly go through the doors, close the doors and shoot. Uh, and then I'm going to make another wall over here away from, so we can actually get this stuff protected. Can we pick this up? No. I was actually really hoping we could go and move this around because at the moment, I, I want to make sure that we can put the stuff over there. Although it doesn't really matter, as long as we put a wall over here. The thing is, I want the workbenches to have a space as well. So there's going to be one, two, that's the poles. One, two, three. One, two. So we can basically make a wall over here. There's going to be a wall over here with two doors. We can make the walls three thick. And then over here at the back, we have to make sure there's a slightly thinner wall or something. Just in case so we're standing over here and we're shooting through the bars. They can't vomit through the bars and hit our boxes at the back over here. I'm just really hoping during Horde Night we don't have a cop or something vomiting at the wall because that fire will go through the wall and actually hit our boxes at the back. That's why I'm, I actually intend for the Horde to come from this side. Technically, what we can do is make them come from this side straight on and just, uh, just shoot straight, 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 straight. But if we curve it a bit and we have them come from down there, they're going to have to run like this and then run like this. And then when they curve, as soon as it gets to that corner where it comes like this, they can jump off and they have to go back to the stairs. The only problem is if they're over there, they might be able to vomit more of my boxes. So we're going to have to really, really think this through before actually using this as our horde base. Next horde, we might be able to, uh, to go on the roof again, but for now... Yeah, so far, we've only been using the spear, and we're doing really, really well. Did I get any... Yeah, I have two more points. If I can go into the spear a bit more... Spear master. What is this one over here? Attack spear is faster. It doesn't say anything about stamina, unfortunately. Yeah, I need to think about stamina right now. I think stamina is over here. The amount of stamina need needed and stuff. I'll put two points in there. Next point will be able to go in here. And then the next one's going to be perception level 10. We just need one Horde Knight to like really, really level up and then go from there. Okay. So if you guys liked this episode, I know it was a little bit of, a bit of everything. <laughs> we did infesteds and we did a little bit of work. Although I cut most of the work out because it's boring just watching me place blocks. But yeah, if you guys liked this episode, please like and share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more NZ fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.